Well, for the first year, the donors did a pretty fair job of hiding Rudolph's uh, uh, nonconformity. Donor taught Rudolph all the ins and outs of being a reindeer, how to get food, how to fight off enemies, things like that. But most important, most important of all, he taught his son to beware of the abominable snow monster of the north. He's mean, he's nasty, and he hates everything to do with Christmas. Aside from the abominable, business goes on as usual, and soon it is right before Christmas, and everybody is getting ready for that big, big sleigh ride on the night of the 24th, Christmas Eve. You see, all the toys Santa brings are made by these elves. Seems elves have that certain knack for toy making, all except for this this one misfit. Herbie! Aren't you finished painting that yet? There's a pile up a mile wide behind you. What's eating you, boy? Not happy in my work, I guess. What? I just don't like to make toys. No, well, if that's all... What? You don't like to make toys? No. Herbie doesn't like to make toys. 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 Toys. Oh, shame oh, on shame you. On do you mind telling me what you do want to do? Well, sir, someday I'd like to be a, a dentist. A dentist? Well, we need one up here. I've been studying it's fascinating. You've no idea. Molars and bicuspids and incisors. Now, listen, you. You're an elf. And elves make toys. Now, get to work. Ten minutes break. Not for you. Finish the job or you're fired. Why am I such a misfit? I am not just a myth. With. You can't fire me, I quit. Seems I don't fit in. Ah, well, such is the life of an elf. Meanwhile, Rudolph is having his growing pains, too. Old Donner is determined to keep Rudolph's nose a secret. All right, son, try it on. I don't want to. Daddy, I don't like it. You'll like it and wear it. Oh, but Daddy, it's not very comfortable. There are more important things than comfort. Self-respect. Santa can't object to you now. 